What is going on YouTube? It's Koinagi Edits and um, yeah, I figured out how to get After Effects um, all fixed up and everything and uh, yeah, I'm basically back now. Uh, I'm releasing, I'm, I am releasing an Advanced Warfare 3D Motion Track template um, on I think the map Green Band. I don't even have the game yet. Um, people give me cinematics so I can motion track for them and I guess since they give it to me I might as well um, benefit from it somehow. Um, so I'm going to give it out to the rest of you guys too. Um, so let's see, what is it? All right, so basically when you open up after, uh, Cinema 4D, you want to go and click on your materials right here. Um, your materials will then, after you double click on the material right here, this looking map looking like thing, it looks like the map. If it's all black, um, it should show the color of the map looking like this. And you want to click load texture, load image and um, download um, this motion track folder thing I'll leave it on Mediafire link in the, on my website which will be in the description and uh, you wanna click open uh, yeah you wanna click open click no click on this tab right about here see this tab it says user big wave that's my real life nickname animation and then click calculate voila and now you have a moving cinematic in Cinema 4D and um, now here's some here's the gold texture here's the, the dark texture and you want to put that um if it's not already on the extrude nerves it should you just drag them over on here I don't yeah you know, I think it should be already be on there but now that you have the background an animated background in the back uh, for your 3d text um, this should uh, I'm just gonna label it text again and uh, see that's how you change it to text. So you, what you want to do is open the extrude nerves. If I didn't um, already go over this, um, open up your extrude nerves, extrude nerves, and uh, text right here. Click on text. Go to object. If it's see you know basic coordinate, um, yeah coordinate, and then object, and then see where it says text. Always type in capitals. Never text in. Never type in a, a lowercase because it just doesn't work. Um, well. It can work in some situations, but the thing is, uh, sometimes your text might go through the floor. Some parts of the text might go through the floor, and you don't want that. So yeah, I'm going to label, I'm going to do Koi, uh, just put caps lock on, Koi and Nagi, and then click out of that, and yeah, now you should have the text. But here's the thing, um, when you first open it, you might have a sphere that looks like this. Um, you're going to be like, whoa, why is there this thing? He, he never went over it. Yeah, well, I am doing it now. So there's a sphere right here, and that basically it makes the text more reflective. But as you can tell, some of the text is sticking out of the sphere. So what you want to do is go to text. Oh, um, you want to make the if you want to make the sphere disappear, go and uh, click on double click on one of these circles and uh, until it's red, and uh, it should make it you know make the sphere invisible to you. And then now you want to click on this scale tool right here, and this should oh oops that's the sphere damn it okay. And uh, yeah, you click on your text and then click on your scale tool and uh, you just want to drag up and down like, you know, and then it makes it small, smaller or bigger. And if you want to make it smaller to make sure it fits into the sphere, there we go, it fits in the sphere. Um, I'm going to make that, oops, I'm going to click the top dot, yeah. And render it out right there and look at that beauty. Yeah, and uh, it's reflective and everything. Yeah, and then um, that's how you change the text. Um, the font will also be in the download. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, and uh, if you want to make this little menu thing right here disappear, we're going to go and render it out. Oh, here's the render settings output. You want to go 1280, 720, make sure uh, frame rate is 59.94. Um, everything else should be good. Just go save and then make sure... Since I'm using Cinema 4D Lite, um, it's a configuration between Cinema 4D and After Effects, so um, it's not two individual programs anymore, really. Um, yeah, so you want to, if you're using Cinema 4D by itself, just save it wherever you want. I usually save mine to desktop, and check on Alpha Channel if you're not if you don't already have that on, and um, anti-aliasing. I think that's how you pronounce it, anti-aliasing. Um, put I put it on geometry instead of best because geometry is rendered out faster and it's Call of Duty. It's not like 
I'm making some sort of awesome movie or something. So I put it on geometry. Um, best, just make sure the quality, you know, is just really high. Make sure ambient occlusion is on. And um, ambient occlusion just makes your uh, text look like it's more in the scene. Makes shadows. And yeah. So yeah, and then you want to click on this render to picture viewer. And if you're using normal Cinema 4D, and um, it should render it to your desktop or whatever you saved it to. Now we're in After Effects, all right? So um, to make that little menu thing disappear, I'm gonna put the, everything back to its original. Um, yeah, so this is basically what it looks like in After Effects when you rendered it from Cinema 4D, right? So um, you wanna scale it to 125, but as you can tell, you can still see some of the text. So what you want to do is click on P, um, scale is S, if you didn't know that. So if you click on P, this um, position will pop up. And what you want to do is drag it to the left a little bit more to make the text, the rest of the text disappear. Like that, or you know, however however far to the left you want. Um, uh, I'm just going to do it right about there, 540. And then uh, zoom back in, fit. And voila, your menu thing, your your cinematic every motion track template. Ooh, sexy right there. So yeah, if you guys like that, please subscribe, comment below. Um, just follow me on Instagram. Instagram is where you get noticed by me a lot more. So um, yeah, because it's on a hand, handheld devices, you know. Um, so I'm always on my phone. And uh, yeah, just subscribe, like, comment below. Peace out until the next upload.